I wanted to make this video to try and help out some folks that are having some trouble um, getting the bed level with the Saval SVO4. Um, and there's just a couple little tips and tricks uh, to this. One, I love this machine. Uh, this dual uh, independent extruder uh, setup is great. Uh, the quality of the parts that are in it are awesome. Uh, absolutely love this machine. I've had some really amazing prints come off it already. Here, not to get too sidetracked, but this is the, the Fox off the SD card. And some of the cubes. I mean, this thing prints just amazing but anyway yeah here's my really really messy uh, 3d printing room <laughs> and one on the floor but anyway back to what i wanted to share with everybody so when i set about trying to level for the very first time uh, the biggest mistake i was making was i was turning the i was cranking the bed level knobs down way too tight and trying to use that as a starting point. Uh, and it doesn't work um, because this is uh, a thinner build plate and it's aluminum. So obviously whenever you want to uh, level your bed, you want to heat it up to your temperature that you want it to be when you're gonna print. So it'll always print level. The problem with cranking down on these bed leveling knobs on a thin piece of aluminum like this is you will bend it and, and warp it as you're trying to level it and you'll just end up chasing your tail and it'll never get level. So I took the bed off, went down to the uh, eccentric nuts, adjusted those. Um, you wanna make sure you're starting out, let me back up. You wanna make sure you're starting out on a level surface. My bench was not level, so I added a little piece of wood here uh, to make it level. Took the bed off, went down, adjusted the eccentric nuts. And before I put it back together, I took one silicone spacer and placed it right smack in the middle for support. That's kind of tough to see back there. But placed it for support. I put the bed back on. And when I put the leveling knobs back on, I let the screws barely come through the bottom. Each one of them barely come through the bottom. I heated the bed up, went into leveling, did the leveling, Z offset, went through the uh, auxiliary leveling. And when I got done with the auxiliary leveling, I went back to the center uh, and actually was level. And here's some of the numbers from my measuring that I did or bed leveling. I think that's what it refers to. But those are some really good numbers. I mean, bottom right, 0 0.209. Upper left, 0 0.289. Lower left, 0 0.242. Upper right, 0 0.324. I mean, these are really good numbers. You know, the goal here is not to get them all to zero. The goal is to have them all as close to each other as possible. So this is really good. I mean, this is leveled good enough that uh, one, when you do the auxiliary bed leveling, it actually will be leveled to the center. And then when you do your measuring, you get numbers that are really close like this. Uh, when you do, you just click save. And then don't forget to bring your second extruder over and adjust that too because you is you've just readjusted everything and set it to the first extruder so bring extruder number two over reset that and then you should be really good to go i hope that helps everybody have a great go please like and subscribe uh, if you like getting tips and tricks like this uh, i'm happy to share with folks what i know i'm not an expert by any means but i've learned a few things over the years uh, that have helped me along the way with my 3D printer. So please hit the like, thumbs up, and hit the subscribe button because that helps build the audience and that helps that YouTube determines whether I'm popular or not, whether you get to even see any of my videos or not. But anyway, thanks folks. Have a great day.